giving a voice to the voiceless and taking the powerful to task. Now, a Target 8 investigation. Their struggles with the VA bring veterans to the streets, claiming the delays and frustration push them to the edge. The day before the 4th of July, some veterans are dusting off their uniforms to join in parades. Yeah, but one group today carried ominous signs outside of Bay Pines, claiming it is the VA that pushes veterans to suicide. They told senior investigator Steve Andrews their frustration just continues to mount. You know, every 72 minutes, an American veteran commits suicide. That adds up to about 20 a day. That is just 20 too many. Today, in front of Bay Pines, beneath a blazing sun, some pointed the finger of blame right at the VA. Army veteran Brad Bolden stood in 90 degree heat outside the VA at Bay Pines. He used one word to describe his treatment. Horrible. Veteran and former Bay Pines nurse Carol Henson joined him. You're just ignored. It's like you're a passing thought. While many veterans prepare to celebrate our nation's independence, this group blasted the organization created to care for them. Their complaints are many. The common theme, frustration with the VA. A lot of guys commit off themselves because they can't get their claims approved, and there's no reason. Mike Ford was with the 82nd Airborne. He claims the VA owes him seven years back pay. And they pay me one month. They protested problems with claims. It's one thing to question what's wrong with me, even though it's clearly documented. Um, it's another when you don't address it at all. Problems with medical care. They make the same mistakes over and over and over again. And then you go back and they don't correct it. Problems with working conditions. Why do you think that this place needs to be investigated? Uh, because I used to work here. Keith Hansford was considered a reliable employee. Then he became a whistleblower. It was like flipping a switch. I went from the reliable employee to the one that had to be destroyed. Feeling shortchanged, ignored, and betrayed by the VA, these veterans understand where frustration can take them. And they get, and believe it or not, they get frustrated and they decide to do this and they shoot themselves. Believe me, I know I've been there. I understand now the suicide part, the homicide part, you know, I understand it. Well, what do you understand? I lived it. I, I lived it. They're going through and not finding an ounce of help. I mean, none. According to former nurse Carol Henson, anytime you deal in medicine, you have to be aware that you're there for the patient. She believes that Bay Pines, from the top down, that has been forgotten. And I received several calls from veterans and veteran service organizations today who told me these protesters have very legitimate beefs. And very powerful statements saying yeah. they've come that close yeah. to ending their lives. How about Bay Pines? They see this outside. Did they say anything to you? They sent me an email. Um, Bay Pines Public Affairs Officer Jason Dangle acknowledges individuals participated in a peaceful assembly outside VA property. In an email, he wrote, it's their right under the First Amendment to do so, and Bay Pines respects that. Doesn't appear as though they sent anybody out there to find out what was on their minds or how upset they really are. Mm -hmm. No question. These people just want to be heard. They want to keep calling attention to this until it gets fixed. This was so upsetting today. You know, I was telling you a little bit earlier, for the first time, people were actually t telling me about how they were considering committing suicide. Yeah. You thought you were just going to a protest, yeah, right. but it goes yeah. much deeper than this that. This is so sad. All right, Thanks. thank you, Steve. And if you have a problem you would like Steve to investigate, call our Target 8 helpline, the number 1-800-338-0808.